Today, we're going to share with you three self-care tips to benefit your emotional well-being. Stick around. We're going to get started right now. Emotional health refers to your ability to express feelings, which are based upon information you have processed. So the first tip we have is to just simply connect with your spouse or partner. Mm -hmm. So whether you're married or in a committed relationship, your connection with your partner is important, especially in times of loss and grief. At times, the connection can get lost in the midst of grief, of course. Mm -hmm. So making an effort to connect with each other says that their grieving process is just as important as yours. It's important that we recognize that you will grieve and express feelings differently than others. Purposeful communication is key in relationships. Making an effort to check in with each other, planning some time alone, like going for a walk or just simply plan a date night to go out, mm -hmm. um, to hug and to hold hands and plan a getaway. Tip number two, join a support group. Being a part of a support group lets you know that grief is normal. You get to meet so many other people who are experiencing heartbreak and loss just like you. It's a safe place to share your story and express your feelings. And it also gives you a sense of community. We will get to the third tip in just a moment. My name is Jeff and this is Tony Brabeck. We are the founders of Our Little Sparrows. Tony and I hope that you are getting value out of this episode and we invite you to stick around for the next episode where we share with you the last three of six tips on self-care for your emotional well-being. And now back to our third tip. So connecting with other bereaved parents is our third tip. Mm -hmm. If you have a local group, uh, we encourage you to join it. You can also get connected uh, via social media, of course. Uh, there's a lot of groups on Facebook, Instagram. So groups that are even specific to the type of pregnancy loss you can also find. Mm -hmm. So these groups let you know that you're not alone. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Many others have experienced a similar loss or even the same loss. Mm -hmm. So you're free to share about your baby without fear of being judged, which mm -hmm. is ideal. And you can honor your babies together with others. It gives you a sense of community as well. And the last uh, but not least is opportunities to give back to others who have experienced the same kind of loss. Connecting with those who are closest to you as well as meeting others who have experienced grief and loss and even more specifically pregnancy and infant loss can benefit your emotional well-being. You feel a sense of connection and community. Most of all, you feel safe to share freely about your love for your baby and the feelings you have about the loss of your baby. Feeling connected and feeling safe are two important things that lead us towards a healthier emotional well-being. We hope you found this episode helpful. We want you to know you are not alone. You are loved. Your baby will always be cherished. And we are here to support you in any way we can. And if you got value out of this video, please give us a thumbs up so others can find our Little Sparrows YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so that you can get alerts for when we update or release new content every week. Mm -hmm. Now, you have comments, you have questions, we encourage those. Please leave them below the video. Tony and I do our best to respond um, to the questions and also um, continue the conversation on the comments. Mm -hmm. If you are watching us in the replay, you can watch the next episode in our weekly video podcast where we continue to share tips on self-care for your emotional well-being by clicking or tapping here. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in our grief series, The Pregnancy Journey, Grieving from Diagnosis to the Loss of Your Baby and Beyond, please click or tap here.